glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah, for he is the only one who is worthy. He is worthy for his sun. He is worthy for his moon. He is worthy for his earth. He is worthy for all of his goods, all of his wants, all of his creations. For he is worthy, for he has created all things. Blessed be Yah's name, for he is worthy. For he is the only one who is worthy. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah for his power, family. He made the heavens and the earth, the sun, everything. It's not nothing you ain't even thought of that he ain't made, family. You know what I'm saying? Then he made you to love him and so many different people reject his love, family. Do you know? Do you know? It's your brother Jehoshua, Yah, Israel in the sanctuary. All glory be given to Yah. A thousand blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. All glory be given to Yah. A thousand blessings, a thousand of our Savior, our masters, all his blessings be upon us. Hallelujah. All his blessings be upon us. Hallelujah. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Now, family, it's sad, family. It's sad, family. We live in a world. He made this beautiful world, family. He made all things around us, every single thing. And you see, they don't want to they don't want to give him no acknowledgement for it in their life. It is hard to believe in God. Why, Jehosa, Jehosa, brother, can you tell me why is it so hard for people? And and this is not this is not just a a, a modern day thing. This is an all time for any any time that man has existed on the face of the earth. Any time across the face of any time of any time span for man to believe in God. It's hard. It's, it, it doesn't matter that it's modern day or old day. It's all the same because people will tell you the same single thing they will what will they tell you jehosa they that they don't think he exists even though he made the heavens and the earth family even though they made he made the heavens and the earth family why they don't believe jehosa because it's the hardest thing that any man or any woman can do because of your conditioning you have been conditioned okay okay let's take out your conditionings let's take out your conditionings with you being in your society and whatever's being fed to you either you accept it or you don't accept it because these things are in your 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 natural you know what i'm saying your surrounding even taking those thing out it's still hard to believe in god why is that jehosa Because he made a choice. He made it a choice to make, family. Either you like it or not, Adam and Eve had a choice when they was over in the garden. He makes it a choice for all of us to make. And it's so damn hard. It's so damn hard being in this flesh. You up over here fighting the man. You got to you, you, you're trapped up in a carnal. You might as well say that's that's why people say that we we animals. That's why. Because our flesh, you understand, know our flesh makes us a damn. It makes us act like a damn animal because it's the flesh family. No different. No different. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, I'm a man, but my flesh is no different than an animal and I'm fighting against that and that's calling me not to believe in God. That's not all. You know what I'm saying? We talked about the condition is take you take you out of the condition is that's already being put on you. Take you out of that too. Then your own your own misbelief and your own doubt in, in yourself and everything around. Throw, throw that in there too, family. And just the doubt of being alive, family. So it's a lot, a lot of different programming in a man or a woman that'll make them doubt God. But it's sad, family. It's sad because you, you look at people nowadays and you'd be like, OK, they don't believe in God because they don't see him. Family, when when Jesus bring his kingdom down and he reigned for a thousand years, it'll be people who know where Jesus at and they will hide from him. It is so damn sad, family. Do you hear me? You know saying? Throw your hands up, all children of Zion, all children of Yah. Family, it's so damn sad, family. They know where he at, family. They can get on a bus, on a train. They probably can catch a they can probably catch a catch a, a ride from an angel, family. Excuse me. Excuse me, angel. Where are you going? I'm finna go to, to Yahshua. Can I get a ride? No problem. You know what I'm saying? No problem. Gee, some angels is big. Family, fit in my hand. Just get in my hand. You know what I'm saying? Fly you right over there. You know what I'm saying? So they can't say. They can't say. So they're no different. Family, it's no different. You got you got people nowadays who don't see God until they die, even though he talking to them and he tries to teach them in their life. He wants them to have faith. He wants you to step out on faith to believe in him. You know what I'm saying? 
to gain all of his all of his faith, all of his trust in you, family. He wants you to step out. You know what I'm saying? It's so hard being in this human condition, being in the flesh. You fighting that flesh. Then you fighting the sin in the flesh, family. Then you fighting all these damn lies that's in the world, all the deceits, family, all those things too. It's so damn hard to believe. Family, if a person, I'm telling you, family, if a person seen a miracle today, a year from now, they wouldn't even thought it happened to them, family. If a person is seeing an angel family tomorrow family a couple like six months from now family they would think that it never happened family but all that dark and all that evil stuff oh they know that happened to him family oh yes they know that happened they can remember it and everything how is that my grandma house in jehosa how was that my grandma house and i had a quilt on and the quilt just sucked up off me jehosa then i was laying in the bed jehosa and the quilt just sucked up off me jehosa yeah yeah they remember that family they remember that but i bet you they won't remember that miracle i bet you they won't remember when the most high yah came in there with the blocking hand family he got them kung fu hands family he come with the kung fu hands from me do all that blocking do all that slicing saving lives and moving things out of the way doing all kind of stuff family his hands are so damn precious hallelujah father please forgive me father Please forgive me. Your hands are so precious. Blessed be your hands, Father. Blessed be your will, Father. His hands, family, is so, so powerful. You know what I'm saying? They come down. I bet you they don't remember that, family. I bet you they don't remember when the most highest was lifting them up, family. I bet you when they was down in the luck and they were sitting up over there eating, they were stealing crumbs from the roaches, family. They were stealing crumbs from the roaches. And y'all came through with whatever he gave to bless them. And then they're going to act like it didn't happen, family. They're going to act like it never, that never did happen. He never came through seeing them fighting them roaches in the gutters for crumb, then blessed them with something great, and then they act like he never gave it for them. That's how people act, family. It's so hard to believe in God, but it's a choice that he is giving all of us to make. Either, either you believe in him or not, he still gave you a choice. If you never pick up the Bible and learn anything from him, he still gave you a choice to make, and you still going to have to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Either you know or you don't know. You still going to have to deal with that, family. But I see your father. I, I don't get it, family. I don't get it, family. All that bad stuff, family. All them demons. All that. His, his guy. I kill you. I kill you. I kill you. I, I blow up your heart. I do all this. I do all this. I'm so evil. I'm so damn evil. They believe that family. They believe the devil and all the stuff that he was doing to them. They believe all that stuff. Hey, you bet that dude. I kill you. I kill you. I kill you. I kill you. That, all that stuff, family. They was believe. They was all scared. They was scared and ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm gonna do. He's still out there. Oh, he's tapping on the glass. He's tapping his breathing on it. Oh, he's breathing. He's tapping, tapping, tapping. They believe that family. All that stuff. But when the most highest come through, family, they don't want to believe none of that, family. And it don't, family. They don't, family. But it's still a choice that we all going to have to make, family. There's so much trickery in this world, family. It is, family. And I don't want to say that science is a deceit, but I don't understand why people don't understand that scientists can only explain what's in their face. I, I don't understand that. Like, like, they can explain some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can reach into another dimension and stuff. They can't do that. You know what I'm saying? They can't. You know what I'm saying? They, they have their limits. You know what I'm saying? They're only a man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't understand why they think that we have all the answers and we don't. And then God gave us the answers. It, it's like he gave us just enough that we need, family. Just enough that we need to get us there. You know what I'm saying? It's not the whole blueprint. It's not, family. It's not the whole blueprint. We're going to have to do that the, the whole time we do. He just gave us just enough to get in, family. Get in where, Jehosa? Just enough to get in. Get in where, Jehosa? To, to Zion, family. You know what I'm saying? He gave us just enough to get in and he told us all, oh, you're going to have to have some faith. But what? Some faith? So you're going to have to have some faith to turn the key in the door, family, and to believe, family. They don't want to do it. Oh, Jehovah, I, I just want to believe in my molecular science and I just want to be a circulatist and I, you know, nah, brother, nah, brother, nah, brother. I told you I like watching Supernova. Nah, I don't believe in none of that, brother. That, that's not no paleontologist, brother. No, brother, nah, brother, nah, brother. So they don't want to believe, family. They, are, are they just the other people on the other side? Just like, you know, Jehovah, you know, I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want. I don't care about no damn rapture. 
Rapture? I don't care about no damn rapture. You and your Jesus. You damn Jesus freaks. Ah, you, there ain't no Jesus in the... Check this out. Check this out. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Now it said when, on the day of the Lord that everybody will look up and he will come in the clouds, family. And the whole world will mourn. The only reason why the whole world will mourn when they see Jesus Christ is because he's black. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, family. Gotcha. You know it's the truth. You know it's the truth. They've been sitting there hating on us for all this time with all that evil. Oh, my God. Jesus is black. Oh, just like they said he is. Why do you think the world mourns when they look at him and see his face? Because he's a black man, you know what I'm saying? He's a Hebrew, family. Afro and everything. They was expecting to see something else, family. And they all say, oh my, can you imagine that? You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, is Yahshua, oh, he's black. Just like they said. That's why they mourn and the whole world mourns. Because they was taught a lie, family. A lie. And they did not want to believe in the truth. It's sad, family. It's sad. It's mighty sad, family. They thought Yahshua was going to come back looking like that, family. And he was dark, family, all up in the clouds with the father's army. And they'd be like, they'd be saying some things. They'd be like, well, Jehovah, I don't know about that, brother. I don't know. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Family, if he was a white man, family, they wouldn't even say nothing. Don't play with me, you know what I'm saying? Don't play with me, you know what I'm saying? Why is the whole world mourning when they see Yeshua? Why? They supposed to be happy. When I see Yeshua up in the... The, the, this, when I see Yahshua in the clouds, I'm going to drop to my knees and be grateful and ask for forgiveness and to enter into my father's kingdom. Why would I mourn to see Yahshua in the clouds, family? Why, family? Why? Because the whole world thought he was a white man and he is not, family. Oh, Jehovah, you breaking my heart on Christmas. What you going to tell me now? Santa was a black man. Yes, he was a black man. He was an Egyptian family. They stole the whole story, family. Hey, holy, look it up, family. Look it up, family. Oh, brother, you talking about Kwanzaa? No, 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 no. They even taught us that even the white people taught us that in school, family. They did. They was all like, nah. This came from the Egyptians, the black Egyptians. But back in the day, they stole the story. It wasn't the same. It, it was just like stealing a story about like Robin Hood. How many times will you twist it and warp it until you make it your own, family? Same thing, family. So I notice, family, I notice, I notice with your father that he gives me inspiration, family. He gives me motivation and inspiration. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Father, for you are great, for you are worthy, Father, for you are worthy, Father. Blessed be your name forever and ever and ever. Family, he gives me inspiration and motivation family family i can't even do it without him family i can't even do it without him hallelujah family hallelujah family you don't understand family you don't understand listen 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 he gives me inspiration and motivation he says get on up child he says get on up you ain't done yet you ain't done yet. You ain't finished. You ain't gassed out. You got a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? He says, get up. You know what I'm saying? I want, give me 10 more push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Give me one more lap. You know what I'm saying? He's a motivator, family. He is. I'll I be, I be looking outside the box. I'll be all like, oh, my God. What am I going to do? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What am I going to I walk around the whole box, family. It's, a, it's the, the entry and the exit. I know where it's at. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? My my father, he come through with the motivation, family. He comes through with the motivation, family. I don't think you hear me, family. He comes with the inspiration, family. You know what I'm saying? And then you be like, what do you mean, Jehoza? Brother, I'm hyphy. I'm hyphy now. What is the info? He gets you hyped up, family. He gets you to get, to get it done. What is the job? He going to get you to get it done, family. I told you, family, I don't even think I could do it without him. No way, no how. Not even a little bit, family. He gives you inspiration and motivation to get it done, family. And I love him for it, family. Hallelujah. I love you, Father. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, for all of your strength, Father, all of your time, all of your patience, for pouring down your love on me. Bless all my brothers and sisters go ahead and throw their hands up throw your hands up yeah i bless all i ask that you bless all my brothers and sisters out there y'all the fruits of their mind the fruits of their body 
Father, I ask that you keep their mind real strong, Father, and I ask that you keep their body free of any disease and keep them strong, Father, full of vigor, Father. Father, I ask that you bless their sons, their daughters, their husbands, their wives. I ask that you cover their whole house in the blood of Yahshua HaMashiach. We also call him Jesus Christ. I ask that you cover cover it in his in his, our Savior's name, Father. I ask that you bless them, Father. I ask that you give them all the favor that they need, Father. I ask that you search out their heart and their minds. Nope. I ask that you ask the Holy Spirit of what is that one thing that they long for and bless them with it, Father, and the strength to keep it, Father. Father, I ask that you protect them in all of your glory, Father. I ask that you give them favor. I ask that you bless their sons, their daughters, their husbands, their wives. I ask that you bless all the truth and all the power and all of your greatness that you have put in them in this dark world to shine before your children and to bring all your children into the light. I bless them in Yah and Yahshua HaMashiach, for you are a great God. Thank you for all your mercy. Thank you for all your truth. Thank you for all your love, Father, for you are a great God. We bless your name, Yah, for you are worthy. Family, you can go ahead and put your hands down. You can go ahead and put your hands down. Open up your eyes. You know I love you, family. You are here in the sanctuary with your brother, Jehoshua Yah, Israel. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters out there. So inspiration and motivation, family, he has so much, family. I, I do not think, family, that... And you be all like, you be like, well, brother, well, brother, I don't, I don't know, Jehosa. I, 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 I'm headstrong, Jehosa. I got so much damn confidence. I didn't say, I didn't, I didn't say that some people like headstrong or got confidence. But family, it's times when you ain't got it. And you're going to need it, family. You is. What do you mean, Jehoshua? You're going to need his powers. You're going to need his strength, family. You're going to need what he has to give on a person. Somebody up over there claiming to be headstrong or got some, some damn motivation, they ain't going to be able to get what he got for them, family. They ain't, family. Ain't. <coughs> Excuse me. So he, he and then... Let your brother go ahead and give you a bonus. He challenges me, family. He does, family. God challenges me all the time, family. He does, family. He'll say something, and then he'll... he'll. It's not like we up here playing a game or something. Well, son, I challenge you. No, he wants me to do whatever he wants, but to me, it's like a challenge because I don't think I got it, family. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's like he challenging me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now, after he challenging me, do I conquer the quest, family, whatever it might be, family. And then if y'all didn't challenge me, how would I even know that I would be good enough to do it, family? I told you, family, I'm not a bastard, family. I give all, I give the Yah all his glory, family. You understand that? Okay, now let your brother find a pen and we're going to go ahead and get into studies for today. Today is December 24th. It's about probably like 6.30 or so, family. What time? It's, oh, it's early. It's almost 5 o'clock, family. It's 5.56. <clears throat> okay, it's December 24th. Two thousand and eighteen. Family, it's a lot of reasons why we go over the date. I know you see what the date is, you know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of reasons why we go over the date here. Oh, oh, let me talk about the rapture real quick, family. The only reason why I believe in the rapture is because of what Yahshua said. That's what Yahshua said. You know what I'm saying? I told you I believe everything that he said. You know what I'm saying? So how am I supposed to think? You know what I'm saying? Some people say that the the raptures. Oh, you over there watching them rapture uh, movies? None of that stuff. It exists. But look in the Bible. Ain't it? Ain't that what it say? You know what I'm saying? Uh, one will be one will be out in the field, and the, the the another one will be taken. You know what I'm saying? So who am I to say? You know what I'm saying that. People won't be get called up together and called up to the Lord. I, I, I wish we can miss all of the stuff that's going to happen, family. I, I don't know about that, family. I was talking to your Lord about it. Uh, we'll be ready, family. Let's put it like this. Let's put it like this, family. If the rapture did happen, family, and it happened tomorrow, would you be ready? I'm trying to be ready, family. <coughs> I'm trying to be every day by showing my love and staying devoted, staying devoted to him. And not what I want and what I want to do. 
or anything in this world, family. So, would you be ready, family? Let's let's put aside, let's put aside all the movies they made about the tribulation and the rapture and all of that stuff. Let's put aside all of that, family. If Jesus came right now, would you be ready, family? That's the question that we all must ask ourselves, family. Are we living our lives to be ready, family? I'm living my life to be ready for him, family. Thinking about, is anything in this world really calling me out to, to be it and act like it and to be like it out there? You know what I'm saying? Is anything calling me out in that world and I'm out there acting like it? I don't think so, family. So let me find myself in lessons and we'll go ahead and get into lessons for tonight. Okay, that paper said this never look. Hold up. Just because sometimes you can work for them does not mean it will work for you. Look at the general. And we did. We talked about that one last night. Look, look. Just because some. No, we, we talked about it, though. Okay, now. No, no, no. This is where we left off right here because we talked about it on the last show. We talked about General, we talked about General Joab. You know what I'm saying? We talked about uh Sal's General. You know what I'm saying? Sal's General. We talked about that. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday. Or the last time we was in the, the sanctuary. <clears throat> okay, I don't know. Okay, what is this one? What are you? Walking with your father showed. Yeah, we did that one too. And we did. And we talked about it. Look, we talked about it. Some women are are worth they weight in gold. Look at David's first wife. He killed men for for her. What is your your wife worth? Now I told you, family, he killed eight hundred. I feel comfortable, family. 800 men. He did. He didn't go over there by himself, family. He took some men with him, family, but he killed 800 men, family. He did, family, for his first wife. What was her name? Michelle. What was her name? You know what I'm saying? It was Sal's daughter. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you that some females are worth their weight in gold. You see how this woman, she had to be worth her weight in gold. This man killed 800 men for her, family. And sodomized them. No, 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 no. He didn't sodomize them, family. He mutilated family them because he cut off a part of their penis, family. You know what I'm saying? He did, family. He cut off their foreskin, family, and put it in a sack, family, and gave it to Saul so he can have her, family. So some women are worth their weight of gold. We got to get women like this, brother. Let me talk to all my sisters real quick. Now, I know we was talking about women, but it's the same thing as far as a man. I'm worth my weight in gold, woman. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a real good man. You know what I'm saying? You need a real good man in your life. We worth our weight in gold. You ain't going to be tripping. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be falling off. You need a good man in your life, sister. You need a good man. You know what I'm saying? Not a boy. You know what I'm saying? You need a man that's worth his weight in gold. Now, back to my brothers out there. Brother, 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 what is she worth? You know what I'm saying? What is she worth? You know what I'm saying? Right now, what is your wife worth? Ah, uh, Jehovah, I hate you. Why you tell my man that? You gonna tell him? And you know damn well I just want to spend his money. You know I want to drive him crazy. You know I want to do whatever the hell I want, Jehovah. You telling me and I ain't worth nothing? You damn right. You damn right. Now he know you ain't worth nothing. Sometimes you must wait for the Lord's answer before we act. And and we talked about this time time before in the in the sanctuary that we do family it's it's just the point that people are so damn impatient. People want to live their lives in a rush, family. People act like they ain't got no damn more time left. You know what I'm saying? What if, what if you really had to wait a whole month for a real answer? You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to be waiting, family. I'm still waiting for answers, family, from him, family. You're going to have to wait on him, family. Okay, I feel very comfortable because we talked about... We talked about... We talked about what happened with Joab and what David did. 
Okay, just because something can work for us for them does not mean it will work for you. Look at David's general Joab and he killed Saul's general after peace talk. But let's go back to what was said in the beginning. Okay, now just because you do it exactly the same way that they do it does not mean that that will work for us. And it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. We put all our time, all our effort, all of our all of our mindset on doing it the way that they did it because it worked for them. You know what I'm saying? It did. It worked for them. You would think because it worked for them that it would work for us. No, it doesn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? We got to find what works for us. You know what I'm saying? We have to find the way our niche uh, works the way that we got to do it, family. You know what I'm saying? Just because you see them do it. And it look easy or they make it look easy or however they see it. And they're, and they're getting it the way they're doing it, family, does not mean that's going to work for you. You could do it just like them. And you will fail, family. You will fail, family. You got to find your way of doing it, family. You have to, family. You have to find your way of getting the job done, family. Got to figure it out for yourself, family. Just because you see them doing it that way does not mean it's going to work for you. And then they be like, no, it's not. No, it's not. It doesn't mean. I'm just trying to tell you, brother, you can have all the equipment and all the tools, all that stuff. Everything. You could have all the pamphlets, the class, all that stuff, just like they have, family. And watch how it will not work for you. You're going to have to find another way to do it. I'm not saying that it won't work, but you're going to have to find your way of doing it. You know what I'm saying? The way that they're doing it ain't going to work for you. You got to do it your own way, brother. You got to do it your own way, sister. Just because it look easy don't mean it is. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Just because it look easy don't mean that it is. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to find your way of doing it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to. You know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, oh, I don't want it, Jehovah. I just want to do it like everybody else the way they doing it. No, brother. No, brother. No, brother. I'm not doing it like everybody else. I do it my way, family. The way that my father lets me do it. You know what I'm saying? I do it my way. You know what I'm saying? What, are you, what, are, what the heck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got to do it your way, brother. You know what I'm saying? Sister, you got to do it the way that you got to do it, sister. You know what I'm saying? Put your stank on it, girl. And he'd be like, oh, Jehosa, you doing too much, dude. Hey, 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 hey. My family members, them, they came from the 60s, the 70s, the 50s. They put their funk on it, family. It was their way of doing it, family. That's what all I'm saying to you. Their way of doing it, family. Okay. I feel very comfortable with putting my initials on this page because we got that. It's December 24th. 2018 got that boom got that yeah got that yeah okay let's let's move on now if the devil lies are in this world why would why would it be so hard to believe that all y'all's truth is all so in the world so think about that think about that family if the devil lies are in this world, family, they're in this world, family. Why do people think that God's truth is not in it too? Okay, now we know that we we live in the world that's surrounding and it's just a deep sea of all the devil's lies and all of his evils. Okay, I know that. But it's still good in this world, family. So why wouldn't people think that God's truth is not in this world, family? They would just be confused all the way to the to they die because they don't want to believe in what the truth is, family. Okay, I know they've been lied to, family. I know that, family. But when you hear the truth, it should set you free. It should, family, because you should know when you have been lied to, family. It should irk your own very being, family. It should, family. It really should, family, to know that that is a lie, family. So I don't know why people don't trust in the fact that they know that we have, we have all the truth that we need right here, family. We do, because God is with us. You know what I'm saying? What else more truth do you need, family? The truth is right here in all the things that we're doing, standing for is righteousness, not being like the world is, family. It's so easy to give in to the world. Like it's it's so it's so damn hard to believe in God, family. It's so damn easy to believe in in to give in to this world. To just give into it, but it's so damn hard to believe in God. And I don't care who you are, I don't care where you are, because it is a choice that you have to make. It is, family. 
It's so sad, fam. It's so sad, fam. They can believe in all that evil and see all that damn evil, but they'll never see God's truth. But it's right here, family. His truth is right here, family. Just like all that damn evil is in this world, family. If all that damn evil in this world, the truth got to be here, family. It has to be, family. Where is it at? It's in the temples, family. That's in us, family. For we're living for his truth. Got to have it, family. Feel, feel bad if we ain't got it, family. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now, the devil does not take a break trying to break down, cut, break down, because, like, the winter is coming to be, coming to, I'm sorry. The devil does not take a break trying to break you down, just like the winter is coming to be, Coming to be over, it comes back like it's seasons. So, to me, it's like I don't take no break. I, I I don't know how to explain it to to a point, to a degree, family. Okay, just like the winter has a season, family. It does, family. He will come and he will go, family. But he ain't gonna take no break on that. It's not like it's not like. Okay, everything has a season, just like the winter time come. The winter came. The winter is over, family. Okay, we understand that. Now it's fall, family. Now it's going into spring, family. Now it's going back into summer, family. Okay, we understand that, right? But we cannot say, family, that he won't come back, family, doing the same thing again. He'll always be coming back in the season, but he won't take no break on that, family. What season is it? Is it his season for messing with you? Okay, it's not the season for he, him not messing with you. Okay, he's not messing with you, family. Okay, now the season coming up, family. So it's not like he's not going to take, he's going to ever stop on trying to break you down. But he does come in like the seasons, family. He is, family. What season is it, family? Just like the, just like the winter coming in, family. It's, it came and it left, family. So he came and he left, but he don't think that he won't be back, family. He don't take no break on that, family. You might get a little break. I can't see it as a break because he ain't going to stop, family. You still got your whole life. You got to deal with him like that. It's not like you lived in your 20s and your whole 20s, the devil didn't mess with you. He waited all the way till you was 30. Then he started messing with you. No, 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 no. From the time you've whatever age, five, all the way till you die, family. All the way till you die, family. He ain't going to take no break on that, family. I don't think so, family. Trying to tempt you, trying to tump you, uh, taunt you, trying to beseech you, family. We need to tell them all week long. You can keep it, devil. You can have it. We don't want it. We don't have. We don't want nothing. You have to give. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, everybody has heard that. The full book of the Bible from front to back. Everybody has heard the full Bible from front to back. It's just that people don't take the time to read. This word given through it. Given through it. Been given to. Through them. So let me stop because I kind of stumbled on my word. Now, just because you don't read the Bible doesn't mean you haven't heard the whole Bible. I don't care who the person is, unless they live in some type of remote island and they don't see people who speak a lot of English, you know what I'm saying? Or, or the, with the mainlands, you know what I'm saying? Unless they live in the outskirts, the boonies, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere in the jungle, somewhere in the forest, in the cliff, family. Everybody who live in the cities, family, they have heard the whole Bible before, family. In their lifetime, they have heard the whole Bible from Genesis all the way to Revelations, family. The whole Bible, family, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So it's not the fact that people haven't heard the Bible. It's the fact that people don't take the time out to read it, family. It's a shame, family. It's a shame. You already. Okay, okay, okay. Check it, check it. You already heard the whole Bible, family. Every 66 books of it, family. All of that, family. You already heard from the time you was a little kid all the way till now. If you ain't never studied the Bible, family. You already heard the Bible, family. You already know it, family. 
From front to back of it, you know the whole dang book. Family. It's just the fact that so many people don't take the time to study for themselves. It's sad, family. It's not like they don't know what the material is. They they know the material, family. They've been having the material around them their whole life. It's the fact that they're not going to study it for themselves, family. To forge their own opinions, family. No, they're not going to do that. To get the strength. The, the promises, family, the, all the inspirations, family, all the tools, family, all of his power, family, they ain't going to get that for that because they ain't going to take the time out. They just going to go off on somebody else. So I suggest that you read, family. Read his word. Just don't take what I say about it. Read it. You already heard the whole Bible, family. You have, family. You have, family. You have the whole from front to back, family, several, several, several times, family. It's, I can't even imagine how many times you have heard the Bible. Don't be like them people who hear them scriptures and they get led astray, family, because they didn't take the time to read for themselves, family. Now, you know, I'm going to preach the word to you. I'm going to teach the word to you. I'm going to inspire you. I'm going to put all that goodness in them from the Father. And you know your brother here from me, but I still want you to do something for me. I want you to read your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. All the way to the high heavens, family. Okay, we did that one. Okay, now, these are things that we need to practice. We do, family. Okay, humble, humble in your heart. To others to put their needs above your very own. Patience, slow to anger or judgment, restrain in all oneself actions. So we need patience, family. I feel like I did this one already. I did, family. I feel like I did, but I'll go through it real quick. Okay, now we need patience, slow to anger or judgment, restrain in all of oneself's actions. We need love, love to one, one's God, oneself, and people. We need respect to all that is granted this and to show to leer the hatred you see in the eyes of the evil. I'm sorry. Respect to all that is granted. Respect given to everybody. This and to and to show. Love to the hated you see in the eyes of the evils, compassion and pity for others downtrodden and underfoot, glory and one's love to he who lives forever and can do all things. We have to have we have to have shame in the things we do. We must repent for sin and ask Yah to judge us and forgive us because you cannot be forgiving without judgment first so i've been trying to tell you about that you understand know it, it, it's people out there thinking that god he's just forgiving people and he ain't doing nothing to nobody if god really forgave you he gonna do something you gotta ask for god's judgment god please judge me for what i did you do him him in your judgment when he judges you whatever he did to you you know that god did that to you and you know that it's paid off you know what i'm saying you'd be like oh no no brother i don't know what you talk about now okay 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 we got yeshua we got yeshua that doesn't change the fact that you're gonna have to have true repentance and real remorse inside of your heart for that sin and he gonna pay you back it doesn't change the fact that you did what you did does it okay now you did that right does does you saying i forgive please forgive me take that away you still did that, didn't you? All right, then you're going to be paid back for that. You understand? That's what he is saying. Don't be fooled, family. You understand? This is why people, they be like, well, I can just sin and sin and sin and sin and don't nothing happen and all forgiven. No, it doesn't work that way. If God really forgives you, he's going to whoop you down so you don't do him like that no more. The most high God is not playing with people. Okay, y'all to judge and to forgive us because you cannot be forgiven without a judgment first. Help, we need help to all those that can use a hand, but all, all the same time, not to be used foolishly. Everything that his, 
just been spoken can be achieved if you have respect, honor, love for this makes for peace. All I'm saying, family, I know we did it before, but to be humble, to have patience, to have love, to have respect, to have compassion, to be ashamed of the sins that we do and to try to help people. All of those things make for peace, family. All of them. If you're trying to do all of that, family, you're a peaceful person, family. Straight up, family, of what he is asking us to do, family. Okay, we did that one. Very comfortable. Because I know we read I know we read this, family. Okay, yeah, I know we did, family. I know we did. That's why we can come back to it. I know we can. Let's see what this one is right here. No, I know we did that one too. Yeah, we did that one. But I didn't mark off of it. Okay. Evil is no different than the face of Sal being Saul, first ruler of all the 12 tribes. It will never not, never stop looking. God is the only one. Okay, we said that. Okay, now. And I felt like we did this before. Okay, now some of the tests that come to us as the people, we are, will not end by that night or next week. Some of our fights might take years to get through until time runs up. Look at poor David hiding in the wilderness for years. It's sad, family, but it's true, family. And and you be thinking, you be all like, well, Jehosa, I've been fighting this for so long, brother. I've been fighting against this. It's so hard. But you're going to have to wait for your time to expire because you're going to have to go through that. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad, family, because that's one of our tests of our trials. Not all of these things just fall on, all, on us like we put ourselves through that. Uh-uh. David didn't choose himself to be king of all Israel. He didn't do that. God did that. You know what I'm saying? So these things that come to us, is not, it's not like we put ourselves in it. It's not like somebody going to jail. You know what I'm saying? A trial in your life is not you making a mistake. It's not. It's you going through something to get over something. And you're going to have to get over that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's in your life, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a person, well, you know, I went to prison for eight years. Now I, I did eight years stretch. They did that intentionally, you know what I'm saying? We had to do that because that was put on us before our lives, family, on who we were, you know what I'm saying? Who we are, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to have to go through that regardless. But we did not put our own selves through that, family. So, uh, pfft. It's going to have to run its course, family. It really is, family. You're going to have to go through all of that until it's done, family. It's not like you can jump over that time and be to the finish line. It doesn't work that way. And through until that test expires, whatever it might be, and it could be multitudes of different things in our lives, whatever we're dealing with, family, it could be down to something small, down to something big, family, however it might run its course in our life, family. But once more again, those are not things that we put on our plate like that. That's what we was chosen to do, family. That, that's what was chosen to be in our life that we have to overcome. Okay, moving to the next one. When the time and place happens, can you pay somebody back for what they did? Okay, yeah, I did feel comfortable. We did do that. Yeah, we did do that. I feel comfortable. We did do that. Like, I feel very comfortable because it sounds very familiar. Okay, 12, 17. And I'm still trying to catch up where I left off, family. Please excuse me. I just don't want to miss anything. I really don't. And we talked about that. You live in a world where people die over lies and people are scared to fight for what is true because at the cost of their own selves, or what they have to give to is too much to give and to give into what is right. So these at the same so these same lies tear lives down and keep the world around you broken and can only speak half truths. That's why so many different people are confused in case cause 
the lies that the world wants to hold on to and nobody wants to live for what is right. That's why you see so much wrong in people because life beats them down and after a time people give up and it is all because they think they are worse than the lie. Then people give them. It is because now they think they are worse than the lie. The people give them to live by because they can never see the bigger picture of life's trap. Themselves in a state of mind of no growth, stun it, stun it their growth in their life. And with time passing, they're, they wither away with no options on life. Being free and a peace. Wither away with no option on life. Being free and at peace is to live and stand for the truth. But that is self comes with a price. You have to pay for what is right. People try to get away with what they do wrong. Standing for the truth takes more than so many people are willing to give. That's why they trap that's why they trap themselves with all of their lives. True freedom. True freedom is the truth. Yeah, I feel very comfortable, family. We we did all of that. What is this one? Okay, December. What is that? December 11th. Okay, one of the hard tests is to repay a, a evil with a good. Get down to their, their level. Show you have to. Okay, now we talked about that. Yeah, I feel real good. It's, it's very hard, family, to have evil stuck in your face and you to repay that for some evil for you for somebody to stick some evil in your face and you to repay it with some good we got to work on that my brothers and sisters and i know that's one of the hardest ones family okay y'all wants to okay we talked about that we we did that we're looking good family we're looking good did we do this one lust will always end in sin and iniquities of men or woman's flesh that can never be satisfied only pleasure of the satisfaction of giving into the greed of the delight of oneself and the the temptation the temptation of temporary feeling good that makes a a cave of a cave of a dark desire leaving a person starving for more cuz because this is not a door that is so easy anyone can close. And when it comes, it is a Pandora box of guilty pleasures that people hide, that seek that secret that that takes that man or woman away from what is pure, true, and right. And settles for the guilty pleasures and knowing it's not good, but it was written. Right will be a wrong and wrong will be a right. Not seeing the difference of what is holy and set apart, but covered in shame. So no different than being covered in blood for this indignant choice has brought on judgment, which is the payment of death for all down hiding in the dark, but judged in the light with nowhere to hide and the truth of the the guilty shame will be known and the judgment will be carried forth with there is no escape and must be paid in full to laugh in the face of one's destructions with something that can never stand and never have truth but only a temporary sin is the new drug that's why you see so many people trying to get their fix at the price of one's life, which is everlasting, their everlasting soul. It's so sad, family. It's so sad, family. But I hope you understood why I wrote that. You know what I'm saying? I hope you understood why I wrote that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we did all of these. Ones. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Okay. Darn it. Drop my water.
Okay, let's see if we did this one. Okay, moving to the next one. Okay, now, our sin opens the door to where Yah will let our enemies steal all your goods. Let me stop. Let me, let me stop, family. Let me stop. Now, when your brother Jehoshaphat, yeah, when and when I start slipping, family, when I start slipping, if your brother starts slipping, family, if I start sinning, family, if I start giving in to that temptation, family, if I start hearing that call, it'll be, come Jehoshaphat, come to us. Then, yeah, he going to open up the door for my enemies to come on in and start taking my stuff, family. I mean that family, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like soon as you start sinning, he start opening, you lost your key now. Now you lost your key to your car. Now they in your car now, family. Whatever you left in your car, they got it now, family. You know what I'm saying? Soon as you start sinning, he let them people start stealing your stuff, family. He started, he started letting them steal all your stuff, family. Then you'd be like, damn, I got I, my identity stole. Damn, where's my social security number at? Damn, where's my credit card at? Damn, where's my wallet at? You know what I'm saying? He started stealing your stuff. You'd be like, you come outside, you'd be like, where's my damn car at? It's gone, family. It's gone, family. Because the soon as you start stealing, you can kiss your stuff goodbye. Bye, you know what I'm saying? You can kiss it goodbye, you know what I'm saying? You liked it, and it don't necessarily have to be stolen. It can be broken too, family. It can be broken before your face, and you be like, no, please, not my TV, not the big screen. Right on the floor, Graham, family. Right on the floor, family. You can't even be mad at the baby. You can't even be mad at the baby. He will allow your stuff to get stolen. You know what I'm saying? It'll be that leather jacket that you just pulled out the, 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 the closet the other day. You know what I'm saying? It could be that nice ring that you like to wear all the time. It could be your jewelry. You know what I'm saying? He likes them people to get your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just come take, run that. Give me that. You know what I'm saying? Give me them shoes. You know what I'm saying? Give me that car. And, and it, it, don't, it don't matter. You be like, well, Jehoshua, I got a whole house. He'll have somebody steal your house. You know what I'm saying? You'll come in the, you'll come home and the, the key won't even work. You be like, oh, Jehoshua, you doing too much, brother. You doing too much, brother. I don't doubt y'all yeah, family. I don't. I don't play with him like that. Why would I thought he? Why would I not think that he can't do you like that, family? Why wouldn't I not think you that, family? I told you, I believe in Yah. He's zero to a hundred. He's zero to infinity, family. The the sky is not the limit. They tell they tell Hebrews all the time. The sky is the limit, Hebrew. But with Yah, family, the sky is not the limit. Hallelujah, you know what I'm saying? The sky is not the limit, family. It is not, family. They can tell all you Hebrews all the time. Oh, I'm sorry, Hebrews. You black. You curse. You under do the wrong of me. The Yah hate you. He he don't hate us. He just mad at you, family. He's mad at you. He don't. He's wondering why you won't get it together. Yah is sitting up in heaven like, what else do I have to do with these Negroes? Do, 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 do they know I love them? Do these Negroes know they the only Negroes like this on the face of the earth? Do these Negroes know that I picked these Negroes out of all? What is, they call themselves a Negro? The, father, 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 they, they is in North America. They, they have been lied to. Okay, son. They, they Okay, okay, okay. They have been. But Jesus, do they know I love them, son? Out of all people, haven't I preserved them? You know what I'm saying? Haven't I gave them the riches? I, okay, I had to do that to their ancestors. Did they know that I had to do that to them? You know what I'm saying? But why they don't know it's them and who are which I call. You know what I'm saying? And them and who I'm which I love, you know what I'm saying? Well, people just don't know, family. They just don't know. It's like, yeah, what do you say? What do you say? We don't believe you. We don't believe you. Don't believe that Yah loves us above all people, family. You just don't believe that, huh? You just think, you just think all that stuff to happen to your people is just it just happens, huh? That just stuff like that just happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's never been done in history, family. On no, on no side of this damn and, and any given time, family. What happened to your people for what y'all did to us, family? Did to your people, family. So why would I not think that he y'all has all power? It's no telling what he'll do to you. You know what I'm saying? So why I, I'm not like them people, family. I'm I'm not family. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, now our sin opens the door to where Yah will let our enemies steal all of our goods. It does not have to be materials and goods, but relationships. So it it, it don't, <clears throat> brother, brother, brother. You listening to me, sister? You, you listening to me? God 
will steal your he will steal he will take away your girlfriend you know what i'm saying brother i'm just saying i hope you know that you like that girl and she's your girlfriend and everything but you up over there messing up and you giving into sin and you like her and everything but he'll cut that off you know what i'm saying he'll cut that off he'll give your girlfriend he'll give keisha to somebody else you know what i'm saying he will you know what i'm saying keisha look good you know what i'm saying he'll give keisha to somebody else brother you better hold your horses you know what i'm saying you better come all that down brother you know what i'm saying sister 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 you really like him don't you but you cut you tear it up girl you tan it you giving up to too much of that sin and he gonna take your brother away from you he is he gonna probably give it to one of your best friends and you gonna be like i hate her i hate her no you was sinning girl you know what i'm saying that's why he took your boy so it, it, it could be a it could be a girlfriend a boyfriend it could be a friend you know what i'm saying it could be somebody that you like he even does that with relationships say so he will steal all your stuff family he steals our stuff just from us sinning. I'm cool, family. I don't want it, family. I don't even want it, family. They'd be like, well, Jehosa, you used to be a damn thief and used to stick all that stuff in your pocket. You used to stick all that stuff in your pocket. You were stealing, Jehosa. But uh, I'm, I'm changed, family. I don't even want it, family. I don't even want it. I'm, I'm, content, I'm content with what I have, what he gave me now, family. We good, family. I don't need your stuff, family. Okay, now... Enemy steal all your goods. It does not have to be materials and, and goods, but relationships and, and your your statue in in him and your statue, family. So it, it can even be down to the person that you are, family. You'd be all like, you'd be like, well, I'm cool and everybody likes me and I'm the most popular person and, and I say everything and everybody be laughing and everybody love me. He'd even take that away from you, family. You wouldn't even think that would be possible, family. He will take your stature away from you as a person. You know what I'm saying? Them people will hate you the next time they see you, family. All them people, you had a you had a circle, family. It was like 50 people in that circle, family. Next time you look, all of them hated you, family. Straight up, he'll even take you down. He'll take a relationship from you. He'll take your stature from you. And he'll take what you have, family. I will not be playing with the most high Yah, family. The most highest, family. I'm not, I'm not going to play with him like that, family. He'll steal your girl from you. You know what I'm saying? He will. You know what I'm saying, brother? I don't even know that. You know what I'm saying? You was the captain of the, uh, the, the basketball team on the street block, family. You're not anymore. They don't even want you on the team. They told you don't even come around there no more, family. He'll take away your statue as well, family. Mad at the damn, mad at the baby for the TV drop. He will take all your stuff, family. He will, family. Okay, moving, moving to the next one. Because I feel very comfortable on how I explain it. Very, very comfortable on how I explain that. Okay, a person sin against the highest will make your enemies grow in power. Oh, that's scary, family. That's scary, family. It is, family. It's, I, I, didn't even, I didn't even finish reading it all the way yet. And I already got scared, family, because I know it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? I know it'll happen to me if I don't get my stuff together. Now, listen, listen. A person's sin against the highest will make your enemies grow in power to, to rival your force or overtake a man or woman. Now, she thinks she bad, family. Dude, she thinks she bad. She, I think my stuff don't straight. I beat all these people. Family, her sin is going to It is, family. Because your sin, the more sin that you do, make your enemies even stronger than what they is. It's like you give them power, family. The wicked and the evil that you do, you still, I'm talking about good people, family. I'm talking about good people. You know what I'm saying? The more they give in to their sin, family, they will set they 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 enemy that was all the way at the bottom at their feet, family. It was Reggie across the street, family. He only weighed a hundred pounds, family. The more that they was given, the more Tyrone was giving it to sin. Reggie was a hundred pounds, 115, 120, 125. Re Reggie just kept on sinning, family. He just kept on, he was right back out there with the football, just sinning all over again. But across the street, family. Tyrone was getting bigger than the mug family. He was family. He, now he like 300 pounds family. He is family. 300 pounds. Now he's going to go over there and beat the hell out of Reggie family. He That's how it is family. That's how it is family. It started off. He was at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? He, at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? April was at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? She was at the bottom family. But Kimmy kept on doing wrong family. She Kimmy kept on doing wrong and... April came up, family, you know what I'm saying? It tore all the way up, family, I'm trying to tell you, family. It's the statue, family. It's like, I don't want to say that he's like the great equalizer, family. 
but he he equals things out and he could he could take it off the, the balance of the measuring scale, family. He'll turn the cars around. It's like it's like it's like it's like this, family. You got the star team, family. You got the star team, family. Everybody on that team is legendary, family. They're known for, for doing a good job, family. They're up against the most sorriest teams in the world, family. The most sorriest team, family. He had a sorry team beat the all-star team, family. They'll be like, what the hell just happened? You know what I'm saying? What the hell did I just see, family? It'll be like, it'll be like... It'd be like Gary Coleman beating up Mike Tyson, family. He turns, he has the ability to turn the cars around, family, anywhere he wants them to, family. Why can't he do that? Because he has fate in his hand, family. He does, family. He has fate in his hand. He could tell her to do whatever he wanted her to do. You know what I'm saying? He has fate in his hand. You know what I'm saying? He created it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the outcome, family, his will, family. So... Timothy up over there sinning, family. He is, family. Timothy up over there sinning. But William was at the bottom, family. He was all the way at the bottom, family. William was always getting picked on. William was a nobody. But Tim, Tim just kept on sinning, family. He just kept on sinning. William, he only weighed 115 pounds. Now William is 150 pounds. Tim keep on sinning again. Now William weighs 200 pounds, family. Tim's still over there sinning, family. Now that William weighs 250 pounds. And he remember when Tim was talking that smack. And he gonna go over there and smack the taste out of his mouth, family. That's what he does, family. That's what he does, family. I can sit up here, family, and go out there and sin. My, like right now, my enemy, he a little tiny mouse, family. The more I, I sin, family, that mouse is going to turn into an elephant and squash me, family. Just like that, family. I'm talking about good people, family. <laughs> evil people don't have a chance in the hell, family. They're already doing the evil job, family. Okay, we covered that one. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, we must worship the Lord no matter what we might be going through to still show him his glory. Now, we talked, we covered this last week. We covered it a little bit when we talked about when we be going through it, we need to rejoice in knowing that we have been, hallelujah, family. Throw your hands up. I bless all my brothers and sisters out there. We got to know, family, we, when we in the thickness, when we in the thickness of the war, family, when we in the war, family, when it's a firefight, family, and it's being shot from all sides, family, you know what I'm saying? All you hear is gunshots, family. When we in the war, family, and it's going on, family, and we going through it, family, we have to remember why it is. Is we're going through it, family. We're going into it for our Lord. Hallelujah, family. We have to remember why it is we're going through it. For we're going through it for the Lord, family. We have been counted worthy, family. We have to remember what we stand for and what we're going through. If you didn't believe in Yahshua, you would not be going through all that hatred like that. It would not be. You have been Counted worthy to suffer like the master. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah, family. You have been counted worthy. So we have to rejoice, my brothers and sisters. Okay, I feel very comfortable because we talked about that last week. We must worship the Lord no matter what we might. Some people, some people, family, I I'm telling you, family, they be going through some of that stuff in life and it be hard on them. But family, after that stuff go through it, family, they be like, well, you know, I, I don't need no God no more. If God loved me, he would have never let that happen to me. And, and you know, they they're not spiritually mature, family. They're not, family. They don't understand that they only live 100 years and that 100 years don't mean nothing compared to eternity. They don't understand that, family. I can sit up here and preach you all, all 2008, 19, 20, and to forever. And so many people won't understand that, family. And they'd be like, well, I just had the toughest heart and I'm so mad at God. But they don't understand, family. 70 years is not a long time, family. It's not, family. 700 years is a long time, family. They'll figure it out then. But by that time, it's already too because they already made it to the, uh, the second death, family. And that's sad. That's sad, family. We don't want to end up there, family, before we figure it out, family. We don't want to end up there, family. No, 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 no. I rebuke that in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, family. I rebuke that, family. Okay, we did that one. Okay, now, as long as you stand in all of the righteous, the Lord will provide your provisions and your needs and and even when it looks impossible okay now who was it was the prophet who was it was it ezekiel was it jeremiah who was it was it itamar who hold on who was it who was it was it ishmael who was it who was it 
who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? I think it was Ezekiel, fam, man. Elijah. It was the prophet Elijah. That's who it was. Now, God told Elijah, he said, now, Elijah, I want you to go to such and such brook and you will have water to drink because the, 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 the drought was coming. Because, you know, when our people, when we start when we start sinning and ho, he started making us broke. He started drying our money up. He started making us all hungry and stuff. But anyway, back to, um, is it Jeremiah? No, it was Elijah. It was Elijah, huh? It was Elijah. And a, a lot, he told Elijah, he was all like, Elijah, I want you to go to the brook because, you know, the king was trying to kill him too. And he told Elijah, he said, go to the brook and, you know, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to let you drink. And he he was bringing famine to the land with no water and everything. And he said, go to this, go to this, um, go to this little stream over in, over in Ephraim. I, I could be off on the name where the stream was. And a little river, a little trickle, a little water. You know what I'm saying? They give him some water, some fresh water to drink. And he sent the crows to send him meals, family, so he can eat, family. They sent, they brought him bread. The crows stole bread and they stole meat and they brought it to him. You know what I'm saying? They they fed him. You know what I'm saying? The crows came and gave him food. So we have to believe. Look at look at look at look at Elijah, family. He was out there and the crows. He y'all said. I'm going to send the birds to give you some food. Stay by the the, uh, the brook so you can drink your water. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to chill up over there. You know what I'm saying? So we have to know that he's going to provide our provisions. Look what he did for, for Elijah, family. Was it Elijah? Was it Elijah? I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, was it Elijah. Look what he did for Elijah, family. He did, family. He did that. He fed him, family. So we have to believe, family. As long as you stand on righteousness, the Lord will provide our provisions and our needs and whatever. And even if it don't, even if it don't even look possible, family. And sometimes, family, I, I look back at my life and I'd be like, man, that day I didn't even know. And God, I didn't even know how we was going to eat. And God still came through for me, family. So it's true. Just like he said, family. It is, family. You have to put your reassurance, family, that he's going to provide. But you know what you got to do, family. If you ain't doing no righteousness. If you're not getting up on none of that righteousness, how can you expect for him to provide, family? You know what I'm saying? How can you be able to, how would you expect him to provide for you and you don't try to be on no righteousness, family? Okay, we got that one. Okay, now. Okay, David understood anything that he did wrong would come back to him for whatever he did. Now, this is how smart David was. He understood that anything he did wrong would always come back to him. David understood that it was nowhere that he could sin to where it wouldn't come back to him, family. He was smart, family. He was, family. God didn't see. You see how David is? God ain't letting us slip like that. You know what I'm saying? Is he letting some people, but then you got to imagine some people don't belong to God like that. You know what I'm saying? But let's go back. David understood that there would be nothing that any wrong that he would ever do that God would never pay him back. He would always pay David back for what he did, family. Always, family. It's not one time, family. Let's go back. David understood that anything that he did wrong would always come back to him for whatever he did. He knew that Yah was was punishing him for what he did. So anything that happened to him was because of the Lord. A lot of people understood, family, that and they live good lives, family. Okay, now okay, now all them other people out there that live good lives, family. That don't believe in God, family, and those things that happen to them, they would never acknowledge that God is doing that to them, family. They live good lives. They they got they the famous people. They the rich people. They the elite people. They the people. They got all the money in the world, family. You know what I'm saying? They would never they would never understand that he's doing that stuff to them, family. With all the wrong that they're doing, family, or whatever that they're doing, family, they would all do, always just think that that's life. Look at David. He was one of the richest men in the world, family. He was the most king in the world, family. You know what I'm saying? King in the world, family, to where they feared he was a warrior king, family. And even he knew, family, when he did something wrong, that judgment came straight from God. So why do people in this world think that they can do all this wrong and won't nothing happen to them? And then they die in the most miserable, horrible ways, family, because all that is inflicted right back on their head. Because God, he likes for it to happen back to them, family. 
Not a lot of them get away with that stuff like that, family. But it still goes back to the same thing again. What, okay, now look at look at Adolf Hitler. He when did Adolf Hitler die? When he was like fifty, he did all them horrible things and he killed all them people, family. He did, family. He killed. He did. He did all of that massacre on all them people. Look at look at what your what your your your, your people endured in this country. What races? What people? What white people that has so much hatred up in them, family, that they sit there and they massacre your people over a period of time that to where they labeled them as not even a human being, family, just so they can slaughter them and rape them, family. It's a damn shame. They're not animals. They're not. They're not even considered an animal. They're not even considered a man, but you're having sex with them. You know what I'm saying? That's nasty, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? You sit there. That's not a human being. But you labeled it an animal. Now you're having sex with it. That's nasty, family. That's the minute right there. That's nasty, family. It is, family. Family, look at what happened to your people, family, in the Black Holocaust, family, here in this country. All the black lives, family, that was murdered, family, hanged up on trees, family, because their life wasn't in, in, in disregard, family. All that stuff was done, family. All of that evil, family. But it did not last forever, family. You know what I'm saying? Only, only a man has 100 years to be evil, family. Straight up, family. All that evilness was done, family. It was, family. But it only lasted a period of time, family. It cannot last forever, family. It's not infinite, family. Like Father is, family. It's not, family. Not even a little bit, family. And that's what he looks at it like. Like, you, you had 70 years to learn me, you know what I'm saying? You had a hundred years, you had fifty years, you know what I'm saying? Now you have forever to live in your decision. And it's it's so scary to concept that family. He not playing now. The saddest thing is people who say, well, you know, I don't believe in God. They still going to have to answer for that. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to believe in God or not. They still going to have to answer for that. You know what I'm saying? That's why people like me, we just look at them like in shocked and amazed. Like you can't say you didn't have your time. You can't sit here and say you didn't have your time and you didn't have a choice to make. And people told you. Okay, now, y'all was punishing him for what he, what he did. So any anything that happened to him was because of the Lord. David said... It may be that the Lord will look on my affliction and that the Lord will repay me with good for his cursing this day. Now, it was um a, a Bibishai. Uh, now, the king, they, okay, now, after he ran from Absalom, right? He was running from Absalom and he was he was fleeing through the countryside and, and he was trying to get away. But there, the king was in mourning. He still was in mourning, family, because... What God did to him, you know what I'm saying? God kicked him out of the palace for what he did, you know what I'm saying? That the sword would never depart from his house, family. So the king, he was sad about it. Now, Abibashai, Abibashai seen the king, family, and he was sitting up over there, family, on the hillside, family. He was sitting there cussing him out, family. He was cussing him out, family. He was saying all kind of, he was calling David all kind of names, you know what I'm saying? He was picking up rocks, throwing them at David and all his people. And this is all his daughters and his sons and his, and his men and his men's of It's a gang of people, family. He ain't by himself, family. It's like seven, eight hundred people, family. I think the Pillites, the Pillites was with him too, family. And um, he throwing they uh, a Bibishai, a Bibishai was out there cat throwing rocks, talking smack, family. So you can only imagine a man sitting up out there throwing rocks at David. He's the king. Okay, now I know that he's running, but he still got an army of men with him, family. He does, but a is sitting over there throwing rocks at David and cussing him out, calling him all kind. Of, well, the Most High has took you off your throne, David. Now you have to suffer. Look at you. You're out here. You're out here like you was when you was a kid. Now look at look at look at look at your son. He's like Saul now. He's chasing you. He was sitting there taunting. He was talking smack. He was throwing rocks. He was sitting there cursing all of them. So David, he didn't even get mad, family. He didn't. You know what David was thinking? David was sitting there thinking inside of his head, let me, just like with his own words of what he said, I hope that God look at me going through this so he can he can look kindly at me this day, so he can bless me. He knew that you going through affliction, God is going to bless you after that. He knew that, family. He knew, he said, who am I to kill that man? God sent, he said, God sent that man up over here to curse me. You know what I'm saying? For the things that I have done. You know what I'm saying? That's what he told his man because... Zara Rush, Zara, Zara Rush, Zara Rush came to the king. He said, King, 
I'm tired of the, I'm tired of Bibi Shad sitting up over here throwing rocks at us, talking all this smack. You know what I'm saying? He up over here talking smack on you. He cussing you out. He calling you all his names. Let me go up over there and cut off his head. I can do that in less than two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Let me go over there, beat him up, and chop off his head. But David didn't let him do that. You know what I'm saying? Because once more again, David said, David said, it, it, it may be that the Lord will look at my affliction and that the Lord will repay me with good for the cursing this day. The cursing was a bibbish shy sitting there throwing rocks at. He was throwing rocks at all of them, family. He was talking smack on all of them, family. He was cursing him out, family. Oh, David. Oh, David, look at you fell from. You kicked up out of your palace throwing rocks at him. He was talking smack, family. You know what I'm saying? But he, once more again, David knew. That his affliction would cause God to bless him. Let's go back, family. Let's go back. You being afflicted, you going through that infliction, God is going to bless you after that. You know what I'm saying? He's saying, let God look at me and me going through this affliction and shine light on me. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even stop. He didn't even stop. He didn't stop Zerosh. He didn't even stop Zerosh from going over there and chopping up a baby shot head off. You know what I'm saying? He did not do that, family. He stopped him. What did he say? Okay, now David said, let's go back. David understood that anything that he did wrong would come back to him for whatever he did. He knew that Yah was punishing him for what he did. So anything that happened to him was because of the Lord. David said, it may be the Lord will look on my afflictions and that the Lord will repay me with good for his cursing this day. That's what he said, family. And that's what the father did. Now, I didn't want to be so anxious to get in here, family, but I want to release all the shows that I had for tonight. Like today is December 24th. You won't even get this show. So we'll be back in the sanctuary. What is it? Um, what is the, We'll be back after the 26th. We'll be back after the 26th. If we don't decide to do a show tomorrow, I don't know, family. I don't know, family. But I'm going to release all my other shows. I told you, I, I can't release a show without putting up another show to have another show ready. You know what I'm saying? From a preaching family. Very serious about this. Now, your brother, I'm going to go ahead and get out the sanctuary for tonight. All glory be given to Yah. Thank you for spending time with your brother here in the sanctuary family. Thank you for learning. Thank you for growing. Thank you for getting understanding. Shouts out. You're more than welcome to come be with your family at this nine o'clock prayer hour to be in the symbol, magnifying, glorifying, edifying, praying on the behalf of this world and the people therein and everything that he has brought you out of, family, and being grateful for your father. You know what I'm saying? Thankful, saying blessings on the behalf of your people out there. You're more than welcome, family, from nine to ten, family. From 9 to 10, so make sure you come get yourself some of that. Shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who will be coming to the 9 o'clock prayer hour. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know the Father is with us. You know what I'm saying? And we being blessed, family. I thank you. You know your brother love you. Now, when, uh, now all glory be given to y'all. Your brother, I'm going to go ahead and, and get out the sanctuary for the night, family. But until next time, family, you serve a great God, family. You serve an awesome God, family, that has all power. That has all power, family. He has all power. He knows all things, family. He is forever living, family. For he is it, family. There's nothing else, family. It's just him, family. He's everything. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, family. They'd be like, where's God? Where's God, family? He's everything. He's it, family. There's nothing else, family. He promised us, family. There's no, there's no other gods on the side of him. And ain't no other. We can trust in him, family. He said, don't even trip. I'm it. That's what the Lord told us, family. He said, Joseph, Joseph, what you mean God said that he it? He, he did. He tell us. He said he was the alpha. He said he was the Omega. He said that he was the beginning. He said that he was the end. He's it, family. And he said to trust in him, family. That's what he said. He said that we ain't even got to worry about nothing else, family. He said that he it, family. That's what he said, family. That's all we got to worry about, family. Now, your brother, I'm like, all glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah for he is worthy. I told you, he it, family. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? He it, family. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get out the sanctuary for tonight. All glory be given to Yah for he is worthy. A thousand of Yah's blessings be upon you. All glory be given to Yah, family. Until next time, family. Until next time, family. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Let Yah be with you all, family.